yeah I, I I don't know what I would do with myself I I think the current situation is such a difficult situation to navigate um and I'm and I'm I'm really proud of those athletes who despite all the uncertainties have kept their resolve and just kept going and tried to find a way around the different issues that they're having they're not stopping and saying oh you know I don't want to do this anymore I'm tired of this it's too exhausting they're actually finding different routes um I really do feel for those elite level athletes because um when it comes to Tokyo I think it's going to be a case of who's prepared the best <laughs> who's been able to have access to the facilities and who has faced the minimum the, the minimal disruption towards their training programs and you know these things these things count in on 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 um in, in any usual olympics you expect everybody to have maybe similar preparation um resources but now some have far less resources than others in terms of access to facilities in terms of um you know just even the med med medical side dealing with different illnesses and stuff so um, it will be problematic, but end of the day, that's that sport, you know, that's that sport and you have to just do your best to get as prepared as best as you can. Um, I think what does really worry me is not so much the elite level, but I worry about, you know, grassroots sports. These are the guys that we're going to look to try and get to Paris and LA. And if we're losing talent now, um, we will, it will be big trouble for <laughs> for the next come the next coming Olympic cycles. So yeah it's you know but I suppose it's just one I suppose we have to just keep trying to fight the fights as best as we can and try not to panic the athletes but still encourage them to train and be prepared yeah I, I mean I can see I can see how that that can be said I mean I'm not I'm not blind to that but I think I I would hope that that's one issue that um we can we can all acknowledge can be solved by having more women on the board but at the same time I do I do like to rest strongly on the fact that I'm bringing merit to the table it's not just the fact that I'm a woman it's actually the fact that I have competed at elite level sport and I am bringing that to the table and I think the great thing about being on this board of boxing is that they have recognized that and they recognize that people can come in all different shapes sizes but as long as they bring experience to the table then um and and something of value then they deserve to be part you know they deserve to be on the board I, I um I I hope I hope that with International Women's Day that we have there's a collection of voices that it that they're encouraging women to really I suppose um really raising the importance of of well-being and looking after yourself I think women in women in sport and keeping girls in sport has been one of those long-standing issues we've had I do think it will be ex uh, exacerbated by the pandemic and I it does worry me a lot it does worry me a lot that um, uh, we, will, we will lose a whole raft of talent because no one's been able to access the facilities they would need to keep training um, the gyms for example the special um, classes or different groups that women would attend. Um, so I, I, you know, I really do hope that International Women's Day will help to just, I suppose, continue to keep that in the forefront of the minds and not just women, but men as well, that it is important. It is important that we try and keep our girls in sport. Well, I have six brothers and they all love boxing. <laughs> They stay up, <laughs> they stay up into the early hours watching the the, the big, um, well publicized fights that go on. And I will admit, I probably wasn't, I, I, I wouldn't usually join them on those late night, um, <laughs> late night viewings, but I always, um, I've always kind of had boxing um, around in, a, in, in the home with my brothers in particular, um, you know, grew up watching, uh, you know, Frank Bruno, Prince Nassim. Um, so I, I was aware of them and aware of the sport, but I suppose it's probably more once I joined the team and was able to mix with the boxers, I understood a bit more about what they did rather than just uh, the bits we see on the TV, like the almost uh, very glitzy side of boxing, I suppose we see. We see the big names, the big characters, but it was nice to see uh, boxers kind of on the ground level 